Welcome to Xar template tutorial lesson number 48. In this Xar Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we're going to be going over how to add a flash file and also how to add a GIF file. And the reason that this tutorial is being created is because I had a request from a YouTube viewer. So again, I have to emphasize that if you're interested in making a specific type of tutorial, make sure that you send me a message and I will do my best to try to make a tutorial for you. Although it's not guaranteed, I will do my best to make sure that it happens for you. So don't feel shy. Send me a message if you need a tutorial. And again, I'll do my best to make that happen for you. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in the Xar Web Designer 7 Premium software. And once you do that, let's go ahead and go to our toolbar. And we're going to select one of our quick shapes, preferably a rectangle. So select the rectangle. And you don't have to, but preferably a rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and draw a rectangle in our workspace here. And then I'm going to right click on that rectangle. And I'm going to go to Web Properties. It's like the last option in that menu. And then you'll get the Web Properties menu. And we're going to look for the tab that says Placeholder. When you find the Placeholder tab, we're going to left click on that. And then within the placeholders tab, we're going to look for the option that says replace with flash. And we're going to select that radio button by left clicking on it. And this is going to allow us to add flash to your website. So once you select that, we then have to look for that flash file that we have on our computer. And before I actually do that, let me mention one thing. This tutorial assumes that you already have an existing flash file that you're working with and I, I will most likely make a tutorial later that will explain to you and show you how to do an animation in Xar that you can export to flash or export to a GIF file so some of you may be able to follow this tutorial and some of you may not be able to actually follow it so I do apologize for those who can't follow it if you don't have an existing flash file and if you don't you can just send me a message and say hey when can you make that tutorial showing how to make an animation in the Xar software so I can add a flash file to my website but that's a whole nother story so let's go ahead and uh, look for that flash file that I have on my computer and we can do that by hitting the browse button so left click on that and you would browse and look for the flash file that you have on your computer in my case I have a file named flash bar so I'll left click on that and also take an account here, what it says here it says files of type and it says flash SWF and you should see that when you're looking for your flash file and it will only show flash file types if you have flash SWF selected and if you left click on that menu if you hit all files it'll show everything you have you know instead of just the flash files and you don't want that to make things easier you're gonna wanna make sure that this files of type menu is set to flash SWF and it will only show files that are in a flash format so let's go ahead and open that by clicking the open key and once you select that let's go ahead and hit apply and OK and then we're gonna go to our file menu in the upper left hand corner and we're gonna go to preview website so let's left click on that and as you can see it gives us a preview of what this animation looks like for that flash file and you can see as it transitions through the different animations. So very simple way to add your flash file to your website. So, so let's go ahead and close this out. There's one other thing I want to show you about um, adding a flash file. So let's go ahead and right click on this quick shape again and then go to web properties. And then we're going to go to the placeholder tab. And this time when we go to the placeholder tab we're going to go to the last option where it says regenerate placeholder image automatically and this is going to give you an image preview of what that flash file looks like so left click on that it creates a checkbox there and we're going to hit apply and as you can see it makes a image preview of what that flash file looks like and I do want to mention one other thing you could have just hit the OK key, but the reason I hit apply is because if you want to make 
other edits, which in this case we don't need to, we would hit apply if you need to make more edits. But normally you would just hit OK if the only thing that you need to do is just, you know, set the, the image placeholder to generate an image and also select your file. So if you hit apply instead of OK, you can just hit a cancel because there's no more changes that we need to make. And again, normally you would just hit OK if you made all the changes that you, you need for this uh, particular flash file. So let's go ahead again and go to File, Preview Website. And you'll see that it still shows that flash animation in the transitions. So it gives you a preview of what it looks like or an image snapshot. So it's really nice and it's really helpful for when you have to organize it within your website and you've got a bunch of content or objects on your screen. You want to make sure that this flash animation uh, fits well and smooth into your website. So let's go ahead and delete this or delete whatever flash file that you have in your workspace by left clicking on it and then hitting your delete key. Now we're going to go ahead again and we're going to select a quick shape from the toolbar and we're going to draw a rectangle again and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to go to web properties and after I go to web properties I'm going to go to the placeholder tab and this time instead of selecting replace with flash we're going to select replace with graphic file instead so left click on that radio button hit the browse key and then you're going to find that gif file or if you got another type of image you can put png or a uh, jpeg but in this case i have a gif file so i'm going to add a gif file and hit ok or open i should say and i'm going to select regenerate placeholder image automatically and this time instead of hitting apply I'm gonna hit OK because there's no other changes that I need to make it's only you know the changes that I've already made so go ahead and hit OK and it's gonna regenerate that into an image placeholder and it gives you a, a thumbnail or an image preview of what that GIF file looks like so we're gonna to go to file preview website and then we're going to go to uh, one of the options up here actually in our uh, preview for like Firefox or Chrome and the reason that I'm doing that is sometimes when you're looking at the preview in XR it may not render everything exact and I think that's more so something with my personal computer it's not that powerful graphically so sometimes it struggles with images but if you go to uh, Firefox or Chrome or Internet Explorer in this case I'm going to go to Firefox you'll see that the image looks a lot cleaner when you preview it in your web browser so this is what it's going to look like when it actually gets on the internet so that's the end of this tutorial I've showed you how to add a flash file to your website and I've also showed you how to add a GIF file to your website so if you have any questions please give me a uh, email on YouTube send me a message and I'll do my best to assist you if you had any problems learning this tutorial, don't forget to give us thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, or embed our video. You know, any of those things is going to help us to better understand if our videos are helping. And we absolutely need your feedback to know that it's worth our time and energy to continue to produce videos. So make sure that you're giving us thumbs up, and it'll be a clear indi indicator. Or give us a message, or you know, uh, subscribe to our our channel, or embed our video. And that's going to help us know if our videos are effective or not. So thanks again for viewing this tutorial and I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials and have a great day. Yeah.